Hi! Today I want to explain how to find encyclopedias, both electronic as well as print. We have encyclopedias in various subject areas, and it's a wonderful place to start for background information. And also, for browsing topic ideas. So how do we find encyclopedias? Notice I'm on the library homepage, library.rit.edu. In the middle of the page, you can see a search bar. I clicked on the catalog tab. Now you can see where you click the tab. Now I will type in my keywords, deaf and encyclopedia. Make sure you type AND, A-N-D, in capital letters. I can type here in the search bar or click on the orange search icon. Several results come up. Two titles are e-encyclopedias or electronic encyclopedias. The same title too. I will click on the first link. Here you see important information. You have the book title, the editors, the publisher, and year. You need that later for your citations for your research paper. Notice the link in the middle of the record. Click on the link. I want to remind you that ebooks and e encyclopedias are available to you 24-7 from anywhere in the world. Okay, so this is the home page of the encyclopedia. You can browse A to Z topics or you can type in your keywords. If I click on A, for example, I can see a list of topics and can scroll down. Suppose I want this topic. I'll click on that link. You can see the article. What is nice too is you can save it, download it, cite it, or email it. In the right corner, you can see the options for saving the article. Suppose I want to search within the encyclopedia. That is really easy to do. I go up to the search bar and I want to find deaf space. I found that topic right here. 
I will click on the title. And then you have the article, which you can email, save, or download. Notice in the right column, there are more subtopics within that broad topic. That is a good way to narrow your search. Now, I will go back to the library homepage. No, the, the results page. And I want a print encyclopedia. I do not want an e-encyclopedia. I'm curious about the Gallaudet Encyclopedia of Deaf People, so I will click on that title. And again, you have a book record that shows the title, the editors, the year, and the publisher. Notice the location, where the book can be found. The fourth floor. Also notice the call number. You will find the call number on the book. It's a white sticker on the book spine. It is important that you write it down or click the icon to send it to your cell phone. So it is easy to find the book when you go up to the fourth floor. You can check it out for three weeks at the circulation desk with your ID card. If you have any problems finding the book, then you can go ahead and ask the circulation desk people and they'll help you find the book. Now I will go back to the library homepage and then look for general encyclopedias. It's easy to get back to the homepage. I click on RIT libraries in the corner And then we're back. I'm looking for a database that focuses on encyclopedias on many topics. I happen to know the name of it. So I will type in Credo, C-R-E-D-O, reference in the search bar. Then, I click on that orange search icon. You can see the title and click on it. This gives you an idea of all the topics covered. Biographies, the sciences, and over here we have humanities. I'm going to type in Frederick Douglass because I'm interested in learning more about him. I typed his name. You can do first name, last name, or last name, comma, space, first name. I see many articles about him.
I also see some topic ideas on the right. This can help you focus your topic. I'm going to click on one of the article titles up at the top so you can see what it looks like. And again, you can save, print, cite, and email it. Notice in the right column, you have related searched. If you need to broaden your search, you can click on those keywords. Also, there are related articles you can click on. What is really nice is down at the bottom here. It has a link to the library catalog as well as other databases. So you don't have to open up multiple windows and search in different places. This makes your research quick and convenient. Suppose I'm curious what books we have about him. I click on the library catalog. There are many books about him and written by him. I'm now curious about different articles. So I will click on Academic Search Elite. Again, it's very easy to find related articles. There are also pictures you can see in the right corner. That sums up my presentation about finding encyclopedias.